Hello, and welcome to Traditional Stitches Floss Tube video number 39. I'm Jana Spencer, the owner of Traditional Stitches, and with me today is our Stitch Along leader, Rose Heck. Hi, Rose. Good morning, Janice. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. We're having a bit of a foggy, weird light day today. It's just exactly the kind of day that makes me want to hunker down and stitch, but yeah. we've got yeah. things to do today. So exactly. Yeah, it is. It's foggy here too, an hour north of you. And I think it's socked in for a while. So, oh, yeah. well, hmm. and if I had time to stitch today, I would, but I don't. So, oh, hmm. well, yep. We'll make up for it later, hey? I know, I know. <laughs> hmm. Well, I haven't been getting very much stitching done. I just got back on Monday from my trip to the UK. So we went for the Great British Sampler weekend. And then uh, my friend Lisa and I took an extra week to do our own custom-made tour and travels. And um, wow, did we pack stuff in. So uh, I think of that week... There were six days that we put in more than a half marathon distance in walking. <laughs> oh, wow. So 21K, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, days where there were 28,000 steps and anyways. So we well, did it all. We saw it all. We packed it all in. Yeah. It is a walking city. If you stayed in London, you can take a lot in, in a short, well, shorter distance. Uh, without actually hopping on the train, subway. I'm not yeah. sure what they call it. <laughs> so we haven't tallied the total number of train train trips that we took, but there were days when we were on six or eight trains to yeah. get to the destination and back from the destination. So yeah. after we were at the retreat, which was in Swindon, we went to Bath for a few days. So we did mm -hmm. Stonehenge and the Roman Baths, the Holborn Museum, um while we were there and then we went to London for four days oh, okay good yeah and that was really great we from London we went to Windsor Castle one day and we went to mm -hmm. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre to see the performance of As You Like It okay I really enjoyed that that was a great oh, choice good. yep good yep it was okay. we came home exhausted and I'm not sure that we've recovered yet but well you have the weekend. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, and it's all good. <laughs> it's all good things. So, um, but the Great British Sampler weekend was above and beyond what we had expected. Of course, we got showered with gifts and um, some really great informative presentations that uh, we got to hear and people that we got to meet. And it just was action packed and super enjoyable. So it was a great experience. Yeah, and I've watched and seen lots of videos and posts and that on it. It looks like you guys had an amazing time and yeah, we're treated like royalty. Yeah, absolutely. The hotel did a great job. The food was awesome and plentiful and they handled our group size really well. So yeah, it was definitely a great trip. Huh. We cool. might have tried a few different pints of beer along the way. <laughs> So how is the British beer compared to our beer here? Uh, lower alcohol content, a little bit less carbonated. Um, mm -hmm. But we, uh, one day we were having fish and chips for dinner because we had earned it with the number of steps that we got in that day. Mm -hmm. And so we had Guinness and the Guinness was served wow. cold, which I didn't expect, but oh. it was beautiful that way so we might have had more than one I always thought that's all how you drank Guinness only is cold that's it's always in my fridge yeah that's just, right just saying I kind of <laughs> like Guinness uh, yeah it was excellent so lots good, of good. uh in the photos that we took there's lots of selfies with beer pints <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so great memories good good well that's what yeah. counts yeah and then at the retreat there was an unexpected surprise from Nicola so and it was a specific thing for traditional stitches and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more so stay tuned to about the middle section of our video 
So do uh, the suspense yeah. music. <laughs> That's cool. How's your month been? It has been busy and enjoyable for the most part. And we've had some really warm weather. You were in the UK or coming back on the Thanksgiving weekend, which was this last weekend in Canada. And we hit highs of 26, 27 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. Second weekend of October. It, unheard of. That's great. Well, I've seen um, those Facebook posts lately about my favorite color is October. Mm -hmm. And my favorite color is October. It's just been beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, And we had beautiful weather in the UK as well. So we're really lucky that way. Good. Good. Yeah. Alrighty, so today we're going to talk about our Lucy Barber stitch along, mm -hmm. the Hannah mm -hmm. Campbell stitch along, and then I'm going to tell you about our unexpected surprise. Um, we're going to talk about and show off our uh, first shipment of the hand dyed linen from Mason Linens, okay. and a little bit about what's going on in the shop and our plans. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty, so let's start with Lucy Barber. Okay, so let me double check because I always, we're on month nine. We had that discussion before. Yeah, we're going into right. month nine, starting on nine. So we're in this, we're doing this corner here. So border, tree, Lucy, a little deer, a, a smaller tree. That's what is involved in month nine. Hmm. Wow, we're really on the home stretch there, hey? We really are, yes. Some of us aren't. Some of us are. <laughs> so, this is where uh, month eight ended leaving. I know it's always, even despite you having yours done, it's always kind of a, you know, still a showstopper. Yeah, it is just so, a beautiful sampler. It really is. So eager to mm. get back to her again and of course I'm working her on the 46 count wood smoke using SWA 103 if anybody wants to know and is not sure so vintage wood smoke or wood smoke wood, wood smoke, smoke. Yep. Right. yeah from tabby cat correct oh great well we've got one more month and then we're gonna have to talk about the padded satin stitch in our next video because that's going to be right. November's section on right. it's going to our video will be about November 14th I think to talk about that mm -hmm. to get everybody launched and mm -hmm. um, I was poking around the Facebook group today and I saw that you had um, recently shared Nicola's video on how to do padded satin stitch so that's there for people who want to read up about it a little bit ahead of time yeah. Um, but otherwise this section is just plain cross stitch I think so exactly. and that red and green tree is fun to stitch because it's dense and yeah it's funny how when red and green is densely stitched like that it starts looking brown no and I don't, I don't know if you see that and I don't know if that was the girl's intention hmm. I don't know in the photo anyway in real life it probably you can delineate between red and green so hmm. very Christmassy yeah so you get to start that tonight well I'm not here actually uh -oh. being that oh. we are going away camping oh, right. and I'm trying to figure out how to take my frame in oh. our fifth wheel Right, because we're going to talk about your home stretch in a little bit. Yes, we okay. will talk about that. So okay. I may delay starting Lucy Barber. I have a whole month. Yep. So, yeah. Okay. There's no stitching police. True. Very true. Okay, well, that's great. So um, for anybody who is interested in Lucy Barber Sampler, it is still available on our website. We've still got supplies available for the time being. And so um, you're welcome to join us and the Facebook group is gonna stay up. So even if um, you join us late, all of the tips and pointers, and of course our floss tube videos are always available too, to help you along. Yeah, and, and there are people that do you know, all of a sudden have a, a moment of, of, I need her and um, everybody's is looking so good, I think, or I have something finished and I'm going to treat myself. 
Mm -hmm. those types of things. So, you know, for those people that are waiting, don't wait too long. Yeah. Well, at um, the Great British Sampler weekend, I made a little bit of a presentation about the surprise that I'm going to talk about here. And um, Nicola and I are standing at the front of the room talking a little bit about the Anne Morrison Sampler and how she was kind of the one that got away because we said we were going to do a limited limited number of a print run and we stood by that and we could have sold two or three times what we printed just because she's such a beautiful popular sampler but so she's kind of the one that got away but we stood by our word and so that's a lesson on these limited editions that you stash them at least well you can exactly and I mean I, I go through the same thing as like oh will I ever stitch it but sometimes to have the collection a curated collection. And the nice thing with Nicola's charts is they read like a mini book. So the historical data that she collects on them is, is phenomenal and it's worth it. It really yes. is worth it. Yeah, I would say so too. I just thought of something, so I just want to make note. Okay. Um, so then our next stitch along is Hannah Campbell. How's that come along for you? I haven't touched her yet. Oh. I, well, and I, I, I pulled this up for everybody. We are, um, as of the 1st of October on month five. And right. I don't know if I can. So there we go. Yeah, so, so it's middle. a little bit hard to see, but it's the yeah. middle of the middle medallion near the top of the sampler. Right. Um, so, and, and I haven't started this month yet, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, so, but I don't have a lot to do month five, to be honest with you, because I think sometimes I will do a little bit ahead um, if I'm working on that, I just want to finish. So the little inner cartouche and a bit of the edges are all that I need on it. Mm -hmm. So not, not a huge amount, mm -hmm. you know, a few days and I'd have it knocked out. Right. Yeah. Well, there's quite a bit of cross stitch over one in that area because it's got mm -hmm. those, um, alphabet, that alphabet, diamond alphabet. Um, the, remember last video I was talking about um, having counting challenges uh, with this sampler and it turns out it's probably paying attention challenges more than anything so <laughs> okay. we have those moments yeah so uh, what I found was I that central medallion in particular this guy right here yeah. I'd get chugging along on leaves and fill them in. And then when I was started to stitch on the letters, I realized that I should have oh, dropped a leaf or dropped a stitch on a leaf. So it's just yeah. like those schoolgirls that don't do regular borders around. This is not very predictable. So just take the time to count and pay attention. Yeah, to that's good to know. Um, yeah, I mean, I have started the leaves on that inner cartouche. And I have started the over one letters on the inside there. So far, so good. Um, yeah, if, if I have anything to say about, about this is what you said, is really count twice stitch once. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's easy to think that you're in a pattern and just motor along and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never, never. To... These are young girls that, you know, had flights of fancy of playing outside and doing other things other than having to stitch. So mistakes do happen. Yeah, fit and they fit things in where they could. So do you want exactly. to see mine? Yes. I don't know if this is actually very much different than it was last month because I haven't had a ton of time to stitch. But it, yeah, no, it looks good. There's some progress there. Yeah, there is some progress. Yeah. yeah. You've at least got the um, two of the three cartouches closed, the, the borders of the cartouches. So, yeah. and that's good. And you've got the inner part and yeah, no, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. So, so um, for the cross stitch over one, you and I have both decided that we're going to convert those seven or eight colors to Swasserfine. Yes. And we did get a shipment of Swasserfine while I was away. Um, it's not everything, but it's four or five colors. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's there to get started on Perfect. those areas of cross stitch over one, okay. like those birds and stuff. So, yeah. so if you get time to come for a visit to pick up your May next week. 
Well, and I should show you, I did, oh, here go the magnets. Um, I did one bird before I had the swasser theme right there. And I know you probably can't see it too well. And then, or that SWA 103, my apologies. And then I started, where did it go? Oh, there he is. I started this bird with swasser theme right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this bird here going, okay, the dark color looks a little bit thin because I did half stitches mm -hmm. and the main body, the pink is done in half stitches. So I may, instead of tearing that out, which I would have to be committed if I did, I'm probably the, the dark color I'm going to just with a swasserfine crossover wow. and leave the belly so that the body of the bird looks a little fuller. Hmm. I think I was thinking about that and it's like stitching or uh, ripping out over one like that on 46 count is ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. If you've done it and um, you're still on this side of sane, congratulations, <laughs> send me a note. Uh, <laughs> so I won't send you a prize, but I'll probably send you a congratulations. Yeah. So, um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do once. Um, I just haven't gone back to that yet. But. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, unpicking is part of what we do, hey? It is. It is. Um, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but as of late, I've been really focused on my stitching and I haven't, I haven't made mistakes. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. okay. <laughs> now you have witnesses, so. I know. Watch, watch the next week or two. I'm going to be, you know, regretting that. <laughs> Okay, well, report back to us on that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I won't tell. <laughs> and now to our unexpected surprise announcement for this video. A couple of days before we left for the UK for the Great British Sampler Weekend, Nicola sent me a message that said that she would be bringing the model for our upcoming 2024 Stitch Along Sampler. Yay! So... We got to see it in person. I took a little video with it, which I'm going to insert in the middle of this one. And um, it's it's beautiful. We got to share it with the people that were attending and some of them have already placed their orders. And so now we're going to share it with everybody else. There's been a few little snippets on social media about it and we've had lots of inquiries because it really is a beautiful and unique in many ways sampler. So mm -hmm. let me tell you about Anne Johnson. So this, um, this is gonna be a stitch along that we start in February of 2024 on the same day that we do our final wrap up of our current stitch along with the Lucy Barber sampler. So we anticipate shipping the kits um, end of December, early January to get them to everybody in time. The model was stitched with 100 over 3 silk thread on 46 count tabby cat linen and um, just a beautiful color that really makes the thread colors pop out. And we will, in our next video, I'll take some shots of all of the silk threads with the different linen. Um, we're offering it with the tabby cat linen, but we're also offering it with a solidly colored legacy linen for people who prefer to go that option. So I will, we'll have some photos and some information to share about that then. So, um, if you've ordered from us before with these stitch alongs, you know that um, we generally include a gift for the people who buy the chart, the linen and the threads. And that's um, gonna be no different this time. Nicola and I are working on a very special gift that's unlike anything that we've done before, but it's top secret at this point. So if you order all three components of the Ann Johnson sampler, um, you will automatically receive the gift for any orders that are placed before December 1st at no extra charge. So, and it's very cool. So I'm pretty excited about it. I just love it when things just start to come together in that kind of a front. Right, right. <laughs> 
So the link to order Ann Johnson is going to be in the description box below. And um, she is on our website, although it's, I don't know. These sorting things just never cease to amaze me. But anyways, so she's the first sampler that you'll see right now in our Hands Across the Sea category under designs. But also if you use just the little search bar that's at the very top of our website, she's Anne without an E and Johnson without an H. So you have to search specifically for that. If you search Johnson with an H, you won't get any hits, but if you take out the H, then you'll be fine. And we're gonna get our graphic design gal to create a banner for the main front page of our website too. So then it'll be super easy to find. But until then, the link is below. Good, good, good. Yeah. So one thing that we're doing a little bit differently with this exclusive sampler, so it's only gonna be available from our shop. Nicola won't have it on her website or anything. But one thing that's going to be different is that once the physical copy of the chart has been put in the mail, which means it has been paid for, um, within the next couple of business days, we will be emailing everybody a copy of just the central graph. Okay. So that then that way they can work off of their device if they want to. Um, it won't include all of the rest of the booklet information. It'll just be that main graph so that they can work off their device. Okay. Yeah. So oh. our friend Kathy Ray has done with her recent exclusive and had really good response to it. So that's our plan. Okay. Okay. I personally, I have never worked off of my device. Um, I don't know. I, I'm old school, I guess. I'm very tactile and I like the chart and but yeah, I can see the I can see the usefulness for that. Yeah. So everybody is still going to physically get a physical copy of the chart and there's no way around that. Um, but then they'll also get the email with the graph. So we're going to give that a try and see how it goes this time. Look, look at huh. me keeping up with the times. Exactly. Well, I, I'd be interested at down the road. I think that's something I want to just post to see how many like to work off of their device and how many like to work off the paper. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a lot of people will buy PDFs of something because then they can work off their device. Um, not only because it might be less expensive, but that's that's another story. But um, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. will be interesting to see. So projects like this take a couple of years to pull together. So um, Nicola sent me the original photo of this sampler a long time ago, and I immediately forwarded it to you to see if you were That's interested in leaving our stitch along. <laughs> and I'm fairly sure that you had the 12 month layout back to me in less than a minute. I, well, it wasn't less than a minute, but it was, it was fairly quick. I'm trying to think I might've been camping at that time and I had, I just needed a break and so I had the photo and I didn't have to worry about, you know, being on web or anything and was able to graph it out and I sent it back to you and I thought, look at me, teacher's pet or brown nosing or whatever. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I enjoy that type of, of stuff, dividing. It's, strategizing. I like the strategizing, you bet. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I'm super happy that you're on board with another stitch along with us. So thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So what else do I need to tell you about that? Um, orders, advance orders for the chart only outside of North America will be shipped directly from hats in the UK to help keep the postage price down. Um, so Nicola holds back a certain number of charts that she mails directly to people for a period of time, but it's not for forever. So if you are outside of North America and you want to order the chart only and take advantage of that shipping, order now. Right. That's going to be your best bet. Again, we collect your payment information when you place your order, but we don't actually charge or take payment until the order is ready to physically be mailed. Um, so you don't have to worry about being out of pocket in between this time, because I know it is a few months now, um, because we did announce a little bit earlier than I had originally planned. But so, but in order to put an order into our system, we do need the payment information. 
And so the other thing about that is that we do really prefer that the orders come in through our website um, because we can export spreadsheets and make reports and stuff that way. And the telephone orders and the email orders just don't fit so smoothly into that system. So we would ask that if you can, you place it through the website. Mm -hmm. And so, so excited about this. Um, just trying to look and make sure that I have all of the details that I wanted to tell you. Um, on the same note about shops having to plan exclusives so far out. Um, so we ordered the silk threads for this Ann Johnson sampler almost a year ago. And most of them are here, not all of them, but we've been collecting them as uh, they've been available. So um, shops make really big investments, like tens of thousands of dollars of investments into these exclusives. So it's really great if you're going to kit that with threads that you use the called for and probably order them from the shop that is sponsoring the exclusive, just to um, support them in their efforts to do that. And I'm not talking only about our exclusives, I'm talking about exclusives in general. And um, then they'll continue to do more. So that's the best yeah. part. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and you know, just to embellish on that a bit, um, people need to realize that most of these cross-stitch businesses are mom and pop businesses. They are small businesses. They are not corporations. They're not run by an executive and blah, blah, blah type of thing. And so it is not only appreciated, but, it, you know, it's, it's preferred that you do, if you're giving out the exclusive, appreciate the, um, you know, buying from them. And that's why you do the, the extra gift type of thing, just to um, thank those people for continuing to support. So some yeah. people will go uh, different routes. I I'm not going to even get into that because that's a whole nother genre. Um, but if you're watching this and you go, oh, I'm going to uh, not buy the kit, I'm just going to buy the chart, just realize that um, it hurts the industry by not uh, supporting your mom and pop groups. Yeah, well, and we certainly understand that not everybody has the budget or the need even to yeah. buy a whole kit. And, um, but if you're going to eventually kit it anyways, then that's just a really good- um, Exactly. So to the shop that's put the work in. So anyways, um, now, do you have any questions about that? You've been with us for a lot of these stitch alongs. Um, there is um, a couple just I mentioned, I assume that um, it is you're offering Ada and Linen. Not this time. Okay, so, so that's a good point. So the sampler um, does have some cross stitch over one in the verse. It also has some satin stitch in both um, a border around the verse that you'll see, and also mm -hmm. a couple of sawtooth borders. Mm -hmm. And then there are sections that have some elongated cross stitch in them as well. So we, Nicola and I put our heads together to see if Ada was gonna be an option and we decided not for this sampler. So what we've done instead is that we have made a 28 count linen option available in the hand dyed linen. So um, for people who are adventurous stitchers that do generally prefer Ada, maybe the 28 count linen would work. And um, if not, there's not really a color of like say Lugana that is comparable to the linen that the model was stitched on, but we could probably find something that would. Oh, work. for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Just as a stepping stone, if people, if that was better for people, but you'd have to contact us directly to have us have, do that. The shopping yeah. cart system won't yeah. do that. And, and that's a good point is anybody that is an Ada stitcher and is not sure about doing a 28 count, contact you, talk, talk you know, Sometimes just putting heads together or, um, you know, different things um, may help a lot yep. and come yep. with and, something. Yeah, and people can choose to skip sections or substitute something for something else that they want. But mm -hmm. we're not making the um, hand-dyed color available in Ada for this project. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Anything else? So the website link below lays out the design, the stitch count, and she's a big girl. She's about 261 by 455, I think. Right, right. And um, so it shows what the design size and the fabric cuts that we're going to be providing are. Right. I've written a great big long section on the website. So between this video and what you see on the website, Hopefully that answers all of your questions. There's a section right. about matching up your thread choice with your linen count. And so have a read through that and um, let us know if you have any questions. Okay. So is there a lot of over one on this or just a little bit? Um, I think so once I post a picture here and you guys can see it a little bit better, there's a verse in a central box. And then I think just her name and date are in over one. I, okay. So okay. it's not a huge amount. Okay. Yeah. So then where you might be going with that, I think, is do we need that color in Swiss or Fiend? And so, that's, that's exactly what I'm going with. <laughs> so I'll work on that because, yes, probably we do. Okay. Yeah. I have a thought. I have a thought there, but um, I'll share that with you afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm always open to thoughts. Today is Sunday, October 1st, and we have just wrapped up the amazing Great British Sampler Weekend in Swindon in the UK. And as an unexpected surprise this weekend, we got a visit with the Ann Johnson sampler, which is the new traditional stitches exclusive sampler for a stitch long in 2024. So I thought I would take an opportunity to film this and give you some close up details of some special things about this sampler. So going from top to bottom, you see tucked in here subtly is the sun and the moon, which I just love. Uh, we had a comment from a stitcher here at the retreat that said the best thing about that house is that it's not solidly stitched so you don't have to fill it in which is awesome point but then we're just going to do a close-up of some of these details and the subtle colors look at that beautiful strawberry band you can see the satin stitch in the sawtooth border and also the satin stitch around the verse and the beautiful floral motifs Johnson was 10 years old when she stitched her sampler. I think maybe one of the most unique characteristics of the sampler is the flowers within the flowers in this motif. So we hope you think she's as beautiful as we do and thank you Nicola for this special opportunity to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with our Ann Johnson sampler. Um, so I think that that's it. By the time that we meet again for our next video, like I said, I'll have the pictures of the threads and the linens, mm -hmm. and I will be able to announce what the gift is going to be. Okay. So good. good. And I'm pretty excited about that. So I love product development, and this is something that's brand new for us. So yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So then, so that was the most exciting thing. But um, what's going on in the shop? Uh, okay, I'll do that. I'm out of order here, but that's okay. Uh, so you wouldn't believe how hard my team worked while I was away. They were so busy and they tackled <laughs> all of it and they did so good that they made my eerie entry this week just a piece of cake. So oh, I'm good. so proud of oh, that and, and grateful that they work so hard so that I can escape a little bit here and there. So nice. Yeah. And so, um, oh, it's September was Traditional Stitch's 23rd anniversary of being in business so we kind of kept it hush hush this year and just had a cake i'll insert a picture here um, from our favorite bakery in calgary um, just for the team and I, i'm pretty sure a few pieces went home to family members <laughs> which is exactly why i ordered a big cake um, but so we just had a quiet celebration for that but 23 years yeah. 
And so we are still working towards our year end at November 30th and doing inventory cleanup and that kind of thing, which actually feels really good to get that stuff done. And um, no doubt. Yeah, if you've ever gone on a binge where you're cleaning out your closets or organizing your stash, even you, you know how good that feels. So yeah, yeah, yeah. making great that. products. So we've got our pre-cut fabric section um, and our sales section and our limited availability section. And those links to those sections are below and they get added to on almost a daily basis. So keep checking them out. And then also this morning, I woke up to a couple of exciting emails. We have a shipment of Tabby Cat hand-dyed linen on its way to us and a really big Picture This Plus order coming. Oh, wow. Yeah, yay. Yay, that's right. <laughs> so exciting times in the shops. Shop. But um, so speaking of exciting things, while I was away, we received our first shipment of Mason hand-dyed linen. So I'm going to show those to you. Um, we are super impressed with how Patty is running things. Um, the fabric came beautifully labeled and surged and just ready to go, which was a huge thing for us. Um, nice and squarely cut and easy for us to work with in cutting it down as we need to. Um, so we really appreciate that she's making those efforts. Um, and the mason linens are only going to be available uh, from a handful, and I mean a hand, less than a handful of shops. Um, and so Patty's made that business decision so that she can keep on top of the demand. And um, we're honored to be one of those shops and we're gonna work really closely with her to make sure that we offer the range and um, keep some stock. So um, our first shipment, we got a taste of 40 count linens and I've already reordered uh, more colors of 40 count linen and 36 and 46 count. I ordered it all. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that next shipment should be here about the middle of November. Uh, so on our website right now and in the link to the hand dyed linen for this floss tube video is what we received in this shipment. And as of this moment, we still have Every, some of everything in stock. Um, next mm -hmm. week, Diana is going to list all of what we've ordered on our website and put it as available middle of November. And so that's kind of what we're aiming for for our next shipment. But then that way people can place advanced orders and um, get their name on the list. So, okay, that's good. So do you want to see it? I would, yes. So, um, one thing that Patty's doing is color families. So you may have seen on social media or heard about, um, she's offering bundles maybe or gradations in color. We've decided not to offer it in bundles so that people, people can just pick and choose the colors that they want. But Oh, okay, I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, we're just order offering them just as our regular cuts of fabric like we do with everything else. But let me show you this gradation of colors. It looks so nice together. Isn't that awesome? Really nice. So this color is called Chatelaine. Mm -hmm. And I, no words. No words. So. Does it, uh, is it as luxurious feeling as it looks? It okay. feels awesome. It really does. So um, the color, the Chatelaine color, all of the colors come in the four gradations, like I showed. So okay. there's light and there's medium light and medium dark and dark. Nice. So I'm not quite sure how you don't need one of each, but. Yeah, I, I really like her subtlety. Yeah. It, you know, I have to admit, it, it reminds me of Lakeside. Yes. So the, it is hand dyed. So there is a little bit of modeling. So this is the dark version. I just flipped over the pile. So oh, you can okay. see a little bit of yeah. modeling, yeah. but nothing splooshy. It's no. done and yeah. Really and so nice. she yeah. she's working really hard to be consistent. Good. And so we really appreciate that. 
And I think everybody's going to appreciate that. So that was shadowing. This, and those are all four to count. This one is button box. Light, medium light, Warmer. medium and dark. Mm -hmm. Yellow toned. Yeah. So oh, that from, one reminds me of Havana just about. Yeah, it does. I or um, I was thinking oh. vintage autumn gold a little bit. That's too. another one. Yeah. 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 That would yeah. be a good substitute. Of course, seeing it full face and seeing it through a screener, you know, it changes yeah. things a bit. But, but again, nice. I just want them all. Yeah. <laughs> so that is <laughs> the button box, box family. And then she sent us a few limited edition colors um, that we've listed on our website, but they, she tells me that she'll be a, that she will recreate them. So they're limited okay. edition in that they're not colors that are named that are added to her regular line, but they're limited edition one through six and we can order more and they'll be consistent. So okay. let's see, this is, and so on our website, uh, Diana, who is our web gal, actually took matched these up to DMC colors mm -hmm. and took pictures of them with the skein of DMC laying on them and posted them on the website. So that'll give you a really good idea, even if my camera is a little bit off. Yeah, that's so helpful. So this is limited edition one. Two. Three, four, five, mm. and six. So these six are not gradients, they're just it almost looks like the first four could work as gradients. Yeah, they, but... they could, um, and they probably are, but um, just not color families that she's introducing that way. Okay. Do they have color names at all? No, they... they're just limited edition one, two, three, four, five, and six. Numbers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the other question I have, which will probably come up, is what does she use as a base? It's Swigart. It is yep. like it. Good. Okay, that's yep. good to know. And you can always tell because it's got the orange zigzag in there. And then the other thing is that if you can see this tiny little black line that's running really close to the salvage, it's just a really tiny little black line that tells you that it's 40 count. Exactly. Yeah. Good. So that's exciting that stuff. It's really nice. Really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, yeah, she's just all of a sudden come out of the woodwork. I don't know where she came from. And well, she's been working on this for a long time, actually in the product development and getting ready to launch. And we've been talking to her for a few months about getting involved in it. So, and uh, she's sent a lot of fabric to designers. And okay. so it's not gonna be very long at all until we see designs that are listing the Mason fabrics. Yes. So, yeah. um, if you do get one of those, just keep in mind that they're not available at all shops, although all shops should be able to do a substitution from something else for you. Um, but the, the just if you follow Mason Linens on probably Instagram is the best, that okay. sh she's tagged the shops that she is offering fabric through there, and that way you'll be able to be in the know that way. Okay. Okay. Now, generally speaking, hand dyed linen is not color fenced. Is that with hers? Is, has she put any disclaimer? Um, hmm. Something to look into. Um, gen on a general rule of thumb, any hand dyed fabric, you do not wash. You do not, you know, put water. Nothing. So I, I until otherwise corrected, I would assume it's the same with hers. Yeah, I yeah. I would never assume that it was okay to do that. Um, I know personally, I use a ton of hand-dyed fabrics in my stitching, but I am over the top careful about um, keeping it clean. And 
knowing that I won't have a plan to wash it after the fact. But that being said, life happens. Um, a dog wags its tail too close to your glass of red wine, which I know people, some people think you shouldn't have yeah. a glass of red wine, but what's life without red wine? So, um, but that stuff happens, right? So then you always, before you wash a sampler or start a piece or even a hand dyed linen, cut a snippet, um, wash it the way that you intend to wash it. Uh, lay it out on a piece of white paper towel and see if there's any color movement of the dye color. Mm -hmm. And that goes for threads, cotton threads, silk threads as well. If you think you're going to have to wash them, test your washing method first before you go any further. Exactly right. So I would never want to guarantee that a hand dyed anything is color fast, although I think that there are some companies out there that do a better job of working towards that than maybe some others do, but I would never take it for granted. Correct, correct. And and I, I wouldn't claim to say I know how they do the process of whether it's color fast or not color fast, because I it's not my area of expertise. Yep. So whether they use a mordant to set it, I, on and on, I, I don't know. So yeah, yeah, and everybody does it slightly different. So exactly, yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for those other colors to get added to the website. Place advance orders, um, and we will pull everything together um, in our diligent way that we always do, which maybe is not nearly as fast as I would. Uh, the world doesn't let us move that fast these days so but we definitely do our best Absolutely. you bet yeah um so i think that that was kind of it for me um do you want to show us anything rose sure i um i know the last few months i've been showing everybody all my whips I've been showing, you know, Lucy and Hannah and Florence Mary Dickinson, and I haven't touched them this month. Nada. I've been, what I, my first love is being monogamous. I'm not done yet, but I can taste a finish and I'm hoping by the end of October. So. Oh, wow. So I am filling in the grass on that part huh. and then this is not full coverage in between here it is a it's a farmyard for lack of a better word there's a house there's gates there's animals there's trees so I'm this is why I want to bring this along camping this weekend because <laughs> I want I don't want to stop working on it and you can taste that finish eh? I can taste the finish and oh, that looks awesome. I know I could maybe uh, just hold off and go into November, but by getting it done the end, by the end of October, then I can resume. I have uh, Hannah and Florence Mary that are the first of November, and I can do two months in one. And I'll probably, I haven't decided on Lucy whether I'm going to just ignore her next week or just put this aside and work on her or work on the morning. I could actually work on. Hmm, I'm hatching a plan here. Oh, I don't, I don't write down plans. You know, people, I, I'm amazed at how methodical people are with plans and they have spreadsheets and they have planning books and I just, I fly by the seat of my pants. So. <laughs> well, relate? it seems to be working for you. So oh, yeah, go with that theory. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, so now we know what your plans are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I uh, yeah. don't have very much going on. Um, the garden's all put away. And oh, okay. so that's done. Um, so I'll get to work on Hannah Campbell when I can. Um, okay. My next adventure is uh, November 10th through 12th. I am going to the attic for their Plum Street Blackbird weekend. And, okay. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're making a whole week of it. We're gonna fly into Las Vegas and go to Hoover Dam and then a couple of days at the Grand Canyon and mm -hmm. then Sedona and then get to Mesa. So 
I'm looking forward to that. Um, my question for the hive mind is we're contemplating whether we wanna take a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon because we only have a couple of days to do it. We're wondering if that might be the um, best way to see the most of it in the shortest amount of time. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has any feedback on that, email me or drop a comment in the box below because I'll be interested to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. So then, yeah, then might as well. Yeah, I'll and so make then, the most of it. Yeah, get back on the twelfth of November, and then our next video is going to be on the fourteenth. So yeah, yeah, yeah time is just yeah. going by. I know this month is you know busy with us, and uh, you know come the end of October, um, hopefully we don't have snow, but things should you know slow down in our life a bit. The camper mm -hmm. will be put away. We'll you know, go away for a few days and that'll be done. And yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty incredible that we've gotten to the 13th of October without snow. So yeah. Yeah. touch wood. Well, and I mean, case in point, um, for those that maybe don't know, Canada celebrated Thanksgiving this last weekend and it was too hot to be in the house. In Celsius, it was plus 26 here for two days in a row, which is, um, in the 80s in Fahrenheit. So totally unheard of. Here I'm cooking a turkey and a ham and I'm thinking I should have been doing this all on the barbecue. Hmm. But um, yeah, it, it, it's all good. Now it's it's more seasonable. Yeah, so. definitely. Hmm. All right, well, enjoy your camping weekend. I will, we will. And uh, then we'll maybe see you in the shop. Yeah, I probably will come next week to go pick up those um, few threads, whatever okay. whatever there is. So yeah. Sounds good. And then okay. otherwise, we'll see you in a month for our next floss tube video. Okay. Sounds good, Janice. Okay. Thanks, Rose. Take care. Take care. Good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.